This world was broken, screaming for salvation, into fire and blood and treachery. You were born, my majestic blade. Immortal, invincible, the Deathless King caressed the throats of weak humanity. To kill the immortal is impossible, they said. But I, the worker of secrets, embraced the Deathless Warlord and forged you, a weapon to slay the unslayable. The Warlord betrayed us, stole you from me. I was entombed deep in his vault of tears. He was Alsa the Vile. Consumed by your infinite light, you burned his very soul. Both of you, lifeless, tearing you from Alsa's corpse. The God King whispered, Sacrifice! And death had its day after day. A ritual slaughter, fathers and avenging sons, all doomed. Until at last, a warrior came with true and noble heart. He'd slay the mighty God King, anoint you with immortal blood, and so unleash your glory. The warrior was Cyrus. He unknowingly gave you life, and foolishly gave us Freedom. I am father of the Deathless, creator and destroyer of all, and Cyrus is our enemy. He is Alsa, reborn. Now, my secret vengeance. The world shall know your name. You are such an interesting specimen, Radria. Do you realize that? You are like a rare butterfly, whose patterns take generations of breeding to perfect. I am not here for word games, Ancient. You will face me. We will end this. <laughs> you see? That's what makes you so wonderful. The others, they never really bought in. It's an act to them. When they put aside the masks, they put aside the god. But you... You believe. This is pointless. Face me yourself and know my fury! Do you listen to yourself, Radriar? You really are something special.
such a fine creation slain for no reason. Indeed. It will be a shame to see you dead. Do not play your games with me, worker. Your life is mine, and I have come to claim it. There you go again. Once in a while, I create something truly remarkable. I was born, not created. Oh. And there was no interference between your birth and now, no changes made to your QIP to grant, say, functional immortality. Fight your way over here, then we'll be on with our climactic final duel, or whatever you want to call it. Ashima. So, he pits us against one another. I have not forgotten the kindness you showed me when I was young. Lay down your weapon and leave this place. Oh, you can't fight him. He knows too much. Everything we do is but a string he has pulled. And this? I hold the only weapon that can destroy him. You would have me believe that he let me have this on purpose. I'm sorry, old friend. I am not. make certain I could replicate it. The greater weapons that will cleanse this planet, they've always been able to break the deathless bar. Vaporizing all life is needed for this. No bodies to return to. No resurrection chambers to rebuild them. Still assuming you're going to be able to kill me, Radriar. You really think I would build a weapon that could destroy me? If you are all-powerful, then why did you let yourself get trapped in a prison for a thousand years? Hmm. It was Ansa, wasn't it? He is an anomaly. Divinity! I am the father of nations and peoples. Everything that exists on this planet exists by my forbearance. I am the thing you merely pretend to be. I am God and King, and you can never defeat me. Now, now you understand. And now you take your place. You are mine, and you always have been. We are going to cleanse this planet, Radriar, and start anew. I need a few to serve beneath me. You will take this opportunity, and you will savor it, Radriar. 
Kill me for my mercy. Take me to let you live. You are right, I cannot defeat you. Because I know who can. No! No! Thank <laughs> you.